So, there we are. Bob Spark, as we return to Griffith University with our special look at uh, the campus today. Bob is the University's Commonwealth Games Project Officer, which I suppose, Bob, really tells me what you are, but in your own words, please. Well, the, the University, as uh, Sam previously mentioned, is uh, greatly involved in the, the Commonwealth Games, and uh, to meet the, the joint systems that will be necessary in 1982 uh, between the University and the Games, um, I've been appointed to develop uh, the procedures that will be needed you know, to meet those joint needs. Okay, now you've got to change a, a number of things around in 1982, don't you, as well, <coughs> the academic year? Yeah, well, the university, uh, uh, the games fall during a period of normal university teaching. Right. The uh, academic year will be restructured to accommodate a 10-week break in uh, September, October of 1982. This comes about, I suppose, as we see here, with, with the grounds. You've got parking problems if you're not going... Right. So we, you can't have school or, or university over the, right. that games period? Obviously some teaching will continue, uh, research work, postgraduate work will have to continue, but undergraduate teaching will cease. But we have a, a whole host of uh, uh, complications in that the venue will be on the university site. Also uh, our proximity to the QE2 stadium, which will create uh, enormous traffic problems around the site. So uh, the university will be doing what it can to restrict as much as much as possible activity or non non games related yeah. so activity. So in other words, on the site. you want outsiders getting in more we, than uh, the locals. Oh, for sure. We, we yeah, we'd we'd like to uh, obviously the the games venue or the, the village accommodation is always mm -hmm. a focal point um, of the games, and we'd like as many people as possible to come onto the site and have a look at the university and the games itself. Well, of course, during the year, Griffith do have their open days, which go off with a real right. bang. Oh, for sure. And that gets uh, the average person into the campus area to have a look at it. Mm. The games, of course, are going to introduce many other people who, who don't normally get out, say, for uh, uh, an open day type activity. Right, yes. In addition to the, to the athletes um, and competitors coming mm. from overseas, we'll also have the the, uh, the whole host of people coming from various countries around the world will be looking at Queensland and particularly, you know, the, the Brisbane area. But they have done some work on the, um, the adjacent roads to the university grounds. Uh, is there a lot more work to be done there to help with that problem uh, well, as we have in the state, in the city, of traffic flow? I suppose the arterial road system around Brisbane will have trouble coping with the, the traffic flows in 1982. Uh, the freeway, of course, will alleviate to a great extent some of the problems. Uh, the university's uh, uh, access to uh, Clump Road and the freeway will be operational by the end of this year and uh, that combined with the freeway mm. and the other efforts that will take place in 1982, we're confident that uh, a lot of the traffic problems will be ironed out. That's but, only one of the problems, isn't it? Oh, that's just one of, one of many. We can go on and on, I <laughs> suppose, right. and, yeah. and every, every word I throw at you or the, <laughs> the public throw at you, you can say, yes, another sure. crazy sure. problem in yeah. store for you. We, we hope to... to to as much as we can disseminate the information relative to the games to all the people, particularly those close to the university, to let them know uh, how their lives will be interrupted for that period of time. And uh, as much as we can sort of give that information out, we certainly will. Okay, you have been warned. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> Bob Spark, University's uh, Commonwealth Games Project Officer, uh, again from Griffith University. All our guests, bar one today, uh, being featured on the show 